New federal charges are on the way for the four former officers involved in the death of George Floyd. Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Karen Scullin. And I'm Amy Hockard. A federal grand jury has indicted all four on charges of violating George Floyd's constitutional rights. The new charges allege Derek Chauvin, Thomas Lane, J. Alexander King, and Tu Tao used the color of law to deprive Floyd of his rights to be free from the use of unreasonable force. King, Lane, and Tao made a brief appearance in court earlier this morning via video conference. These federal charges come a little over two weeks after a Hennepin County jury found Derek Chauvin guilty of murder and manslaughter charges in George Floyd's death. The other three officers, former officers rather, are scheduled to go on trial in August. We want to bring in attorney Lee Hutton now to break down what these new charges mean. Lee, thank you for being here with us. A federal indictment we know is separate from the state's charges. So how will this process play out and what consequences could there be for these four men? So this is a new charge uh, on all four officers, including Chauvin. A federal indictment is kind of the first step by the prosecutor to initiate a criminal investigation against the defendant. An indictment is a for, uh, kind of formal accusation of charges against the defendant, and it's the first tool for the uh, federal prosecutor uh, to uh, pursue uh, criminal charges against these four. Now, is it rare for a civil rights indictment like this to come against police officers? You know, is this the new normal? And if so, what might the pros and cons of that be? Well, I can tell you, historically, it's been very, very rare that uh, color of law charges have been brought against uh, the officers. Now you're seeing the Department of Justice having a special interest, especially after the Chauvin trial, uh, to not even look into the actions of these four, uh, but really as the actions of the whole. And I think this is going to start a new normal uh, to determine uh, uh, what officers should and should not be doing, not at a state level, but at a federal level. You mentioned color of law. Now, prosecutors must believe an officer acted under this so-called color of law. So what does that exactly mean, and how high of a legal standard is that? So in the legal standard, you still have a reasonable uh, doubt proof. Uh, so it's the same standards in cri criminal. But a color of law basically means that the officers, these individuals, were acting uh, within the scope of their badge, and they breached the duty uh, to the individuals that they were trying to uh, hold in custody and in their care. So how might these federal charges then affect the upcoming trial for King, Lane, and Tao? That's scheduled for August. Well, you have to think that it will affect uh, significantly. Uh, we're seeing uh, issues in the state case where uh, a lot of extracurricular activities outside of the trial uh, certainly, uh, possibly, at least the defense is arguing, influence the jurors. Uh, and so with this going on, you would have to think that people have heard it. Uh, they know about the federal indictment, and it's going to be hard to find a new set of jurors uh, that really don't have this background. Hmm. All right. Lee Hutton, thanks as always for your analysis. We appreciate it. Thank you.